Same as it always is. Huh. What are you doing here? Well, we're finding titanium's harder than teaching French. I was looking... People are less excited now. Well, bothering me isn't gonna make things go any faster. Oh, if I can help in any way that doesn't involve standing up to my niece in cold water, let me know. It's getting exponentially more congested up there. I could do it in four hours if I had enough titanium. Danger. Tell me about it. How Judy, did you hammer in an anchor that didn't... I had a nightmare. Yeah, tell me about it. Kenny and I haven't really been talking much. Me too. It's been a while since it's been just us. High enough to catch a signal from the Fortuna lander, right? Hey, what's that? Something else. What are those? Creatures that eat rocks aren't geology. We'll fly. It worked. Can you fix the engine now? Acting captain's log, day 352. Um, acting co-captain. Hey, you're ruining the recording. The titanium has been acquired. Repairs to the Jupiter can now be completed. You'd be really proud. We did it all ourselves. Also, we flew off a cliff. No, don't. <laughs> now I'm going to have to erase that part. Well, acting co-captain Penny Robinson signing off. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're right about everything. It was me. The robots aren't just looking for their engines anymore. They're looking for me. They know my name. I I'm working on it. Can you keep this a secret? It was you, wasn't it? Why would you do that? You know I felt safe here. Or at least, I get you were trying to protect me, but... I'm not a kid anymore. The robots are gonna come for me. And when they do, if my family's anywhere near... Or worse. Which means once we all get to Alpha Centauri... You and I have to leave them. You have to trust me. <laughs>